Mr. Joseph Sanchez, and he's written a book called The Art of Smoothing, and we're delighted to have him with us today, and we will talk with him about his book and cover the fine arts of smoothing. Well, Joe, uh, in light of your book and the writings, you know, someone who may not be aware of what smoothing really is and how they should, because you use it every day. Right. You know, and it's so important in your day-to-day -day activities. So tell us, if you will, uh, what are the fine arts of smoothing? Well, in a nutshell, if you don't mind, I'm no, going to sure, read please, from the please, first page, please. which I pretty much cover that, and I'm going to only highlight it. Uh, basically, unless you live in a remote part of the world, you have to come in contact with people and exchange ideas to accomplish a particular task you have in mind. Either it's at your church, an organization, do volunteer work, or other, any other venue. However, we all know the cliche, it's not what you know, it's who you know. Uh, the techniques that I cover in the book will, will give you the ability to mingle smoothly and creating relationships which are genuine, uh, which will last a long time. And this happens either on a professional basis or social basis. And that is the essence of what mingles all about in a nutshell. So, uh, Joe, I mean, you make great points. This is uh, outstanding. And what do we want our audience to be familiar with, I mean, in terms of uh, the transformation to become a world-class smoother? Well, you know, I find the best things in life is things that come natural to you. Okay. And I would say, because by the way, when I was younger, I was shy. Okay. And it didn't help that I went to an old boy high school. Okay. So I kind of got my development uh -huh. started to from, from an older, uh, older age. Okay. What does that mean? You know, late teenage. Uh -huh. So I have found not only a schmoozing, but in other things, you have to get to a point where you are comfortable. Okay. You okay. can't be shy when you approach somebody or, or reticent, afraid of you saying the wrong thing yeah. and what have you. Comfort. So that's where it starts, absolutely. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But like everything in life, it starts between the ears. Sure. If you approach something apprehensive, uh -huh. you are not going to get the results. Sure. And I can give you an example to me to this day. I'm in sales uh, you know, uh, also. Uh -huh. And it doesn't happen anymore, really, mm -hmm. because I'm experienced or what have you. But if I pick up the phone to call someone and I'm not comfortable, uh -huh. I don't feel I've sold myself on it, I am not going to be as effective as if I pick up the phone and I know that what I'm saying is good and that person is going to accept what I'm saying. Sure. And the results are completely different. Mm -hmm. The word here is attitude. Uh -huh. But attitude goes into everything. Yeah. And I would say, again, uh, you know, the stuff that, we, that I write about schmoozing is not rocket science. Mm -hmm, At mm -hmm. the end of the day, it's common sense, which mm -hmm. is not so common. Okay. However, we, in the, in the gist of, of living our life, we kind of fall away and get in habits. Okay. And therefore, even though you know the principles, that's why a book like mine or any other book on a subject is always good to stay up to date, read, because you remind yourself, oh yeah, you know, this is the way it works and I'm not doing it. Uh -huh. So uh, that's what I think that I try to bring to the table. Mm. This is true. I mean, when in a world-class setting, getting to know people, getting familiar with them, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. creating the kind of relationship that can transform uh, time, uh, and, uh, and you know, it's it's kind of like sitting down with uh, you, you, like you might have had an experience with ball players or. What's your favorite sport? Well, now, now I'm biased. I played baseball oh, really? through college and what have okay. you. Okay. Uh, and you know what? I often harpen uh, that a lot of the experience that I gained from playing, you know, uh, on a high level, uh -huh. and I was fortunate where I had some talent and I did well. Okay. I, you know, I allude back to that again. Okay. Okay. And realize the confidence that I have. Uh -huh. You know, I don't care how good you are if you get three hits out of. 10 times at bat, uh -huh. uh, you know, you're doing well. So okay. you're going you're gonna to strike out a okay. lot more. Right, right, right. Okay. And, and uh, 
every so often, let's say when I'm going through a, a, through a tough a spell, I, you know, I, I hop it back and go, you know what? They're not going to defeat me.